Not sure, but yeah, I think because it's vehicles, yeah. That was a quick couple of games there, though. We did both get both of you guys got your two O wins in under an hour. Good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was going to be like it felt short. I thought it was going to be long. All right. Wait, wait, wait a sec. Wait. A sec. Ah, let's, let's, my computer uh, was running out of power. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'll leave you guys be and go to another channel yep. here. Good luck, fellas, on the final. Thank you. All right, we're out of there. And we will proceed to the finals here. So we have Rainmaker up top and DJ or Pepe Il Potrido on the bottom. Rainmaker is on is uh, both of these guys beat me today. Um, Rainmaker only by a, t a touch, uh, really. Uh, well, nah, it was it was fair. I had some bad rolls. I didn't have a great day overall, but it was uh is what it is anyway he is on a, a a cute little build that kind of emerged as we were um kind of investigating more and more the the uh, opportunities with um mods and uh this deck is a uh, lando rebel pilot bix deck which pulls the falcon immediately and bix pulls your um mods and it's pretty crazy and very interesting um a lot of this rides on the starting hand, and if he uh, gets the one of the freighters that does its thing, uh, this is going to be an interesting one because it looks like that um, we have the the Dune Sea chosen as the starting as the first battlefield, and uh, DJ over here has double BMC in starting hand, whereas this is going to he, he's got two mods in his hand and quite a mercenary and double headstrong. Not a great hand for Rainmaker to start off with here. Um, DJ definitely with the early advantage at this point because of that double BMC start. Uh, he's going to go and probably get the light repeating blaster as he normally would want, or maybe Imperial rule, but I'm guessing no, oh, he's going for uncompromising. Actually that, that makes total sense. Uh, he wants to, you know, kind of strip the hand, um, as it's uncompromising being one of the best upgrades in the game. Yep. Let's get those out of there. Let's get them out of here. Get them out of here. Yep. Okay. He's got a most wanted. Okay. He's going to probably, so he's like this kind of, you know, strip of the hand here is like, man, that's just brutal. Whew, man. Okay. All right, Partigas coming in with his uncompromising, but it rolls a blank.
<sighs> so the Falcon with the turbo or the whatever this heavy laser cannon thing is pretty pretty cool. So he had oh you, and he gets actually a pretty good roll out of it. I mean that is a three and a two right off the bat. Like he doesn't even feel particularly compelled to re-roll that with the heavy laser cannon ability. Um yeah, I mean that's pretty solid. Like he's gonna get he's getting not quite max on this turn, but he's gonna have a lot. He's getting a lot of value. <laughs> wow. It just gets like he's gonna you know, he's getting a lot of value over here too. I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty good. He's thinking, yep, just doing the three indirect. Yep. Yeah, Uncharted Tactics, you just flat out delete a <laughs> die. There you go. Feels good about that. That's a cr nice little combo there to, like, you know, it's part of guys' power action into the Uncharted Tactics. One damage, okay. It's going to, wow, he's... Oh, he's doing that to reroll. Okay. And pfft, jeepers. Here, let me just roll. Let me roll max damage. Okay. Good lord, DJ. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, having quite a mercenary in his hand is actually a pretty good thing, too. Does he really want to do much with this, though? Like, he just wants to quite a, you know... He's pass and then quite a mercenary, right? So these four, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. No, what is he doing? What is happening? Okay. All right. He's going for the red character first, and that's actually probably smart, uh, all things considered. Okay, so this is going to get rid of the quite a mercenary. Yeah. Would have been, he would have really liked if he had instead uh, resolved the indirect this turn. Like, but that's kind of kind of funny how that works. Yeah, there you go. All right, then he's got his three six eight. <laughs> oh my gosh, because he basically him down to seven six and six health. So. Man, what a crazy, like that, what a crazy, like so much damage. Yeah, he's got to do, yeah, get rid of the arc thing. He goes ahead and does, discards a headstrong. Wow. Not a great start for Rainmaker over here, and a pretty, and a very aggressive start for DJ. Early advantage on this one is definitely to DJ. Like, that is a rough, rough start. Like, quite disparate. <sighs> Excuse me. Lando comes in, rolling the damage. Dead or Alive comes out on Bix. If he loses the Rebel pilot, he can't. He has to get a co-pilot out in order to actually use those the freighters that can pull him special stuff. Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. Okay, it only misses. It only hits one card. With the probe, he does get the tick up with crucial intel. <laughs> yep. Okay. Seems fine. Okay. 
he can greed that though, get himself an extra. And then uh, Bix power action for the to overwrite with the um, other mod that's in the discard pile. Yep. Okay. Okay. Not great. This is probably where he needs to headstrong here. Oh, he. Oh, what he actually did to. Uh, oh man, he did the uh, crucial intel. Yeah, I mean he's just gonna take. Yeah, just flat out. Man. So, this he's gonna probably. Yeah, get rid of the greed here, and then he's gonna headstrong here. Technically, he didn't need the greed, but he definitely wants to move to do other things before he activates Rebel Pilot. Probably don't do it. You have the most wanted there. You're going to lose your card. Okay, he discards with Bix. <laughs> Headstrong lost there. That's very, that's fortunate for him. Four Rainmaker, that feels good probably means that DJ is going to play that uh, the West Star in his hand. But here he goes. He's going to overwrite. He's going to activate. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, re... Yep, and then that. Yep. Yep, okay. Well, unfortunately, not worth it. Okay, he has the unique perspectives. That's going to heal heal and do damage. I don't know what they're thinking here. Oh, we lost DJ. There he is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. All right. So he damaged the rebel pilot. Who's he healing? Yeah. Who are you? Are you forgetting the heal? That is. I mean, spotting is always optional, so I cannot tell him that he's missing. He missed his. I think he missed his heal. Unless he had two damage on part of guys that I missed. Yeah, <sighs> 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 plus one. comes Greedo. Whoops. Okay. 
Take down Party Gaz. Got to take down Party Gaz here. Party Gaz. Somebody needs to build a deck and call it Party Gas. With Party Gas in it. That'd be funny. More shields. Wow. Okay. It, like, really values that reroll, I guess. All right. So, let's look at these hands real quick. New hands are going to be. Let's see, he's got profits and a probe. We knew he was going to get the central office. He kept the alternative methods. Okay, plays the central office. On the other side up there, looks like he played. Oh, he got the, oh, he got the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Uh, this the freighter here, the excess freighter. So he's gonna pilot that one next. Goodness, that guy is just rolling with that indirect like nothing else. Too indirect. All right, the probe nets one more. Gets a card out of that. Here comes the ISB central office. There's another discard. Yeah, I mean, this is this is on the verge of a pretty interesting kind of mill kill deck. Rough blankage. Here comes the Falcon. Could be a big roll. Ooh, but he's got a reroll out of that guy. Ooh, not the best. Has to, yeah, has to get rid of the zero there since from the trick and the show on the zero, which was everybody profits. Bix is already PA'd here. He's probably going to have to use some of this stuff he's got in his hand for rerolls. Oh boy, he's going to have to discard another card this way, but he's going to be able to play another one cost into his hand, which is okay, he's overwriting. Fair enough. Hey, there's his discard. Not great. He gets to reroll something, though. 
a vehicle die or a mod die. Uh, so he's deciding what he wants there. Oh man, he's just having kind of a trouble. Troubled. Yeah, just troubled things. Yep, okay, so he's going to get, yep, and now he has to discard an extra. Yep, here's the reroll. Oh, my word of honor. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Yep, so Rebel Pilot is just eliminated just like that. And his final card in his hand is going to go away. And then, yeah, it takes a shield. Man, DJ, you lucky son of a gun. Look at this, man. Look at this craziness. Okay, there's... <laughs> yeah, so he doesn't get as much value out of that, but he's going to do this, which is going to turn. And he, oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> my gosh. Like, you should just. Oh my word. <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable I mean this is just and there's like nothing really Rainmaker did that like deserved this but <laughs> this is just brutality Didn't get it done in time. I don't. I think that he tried to search for that bounty board and when then didn't reshuffle. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, is this a bloodbath? Like he's got nothing. This is a scoopable moment. Yeah, this, this is fine. Yeah, and I guess to, he has to, he can't even Utaguta it. This is, uh, I mean, this, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's just, I think he's just kind of fooling around a little bit, wants to see what he can get. Because he has no way of winning. Because yeah, this is this is scoop scoop land here. Why are you doing this? Why? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at all these mod sides. Ah. Yep. 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 Yeah, you know what's up. Yeah. Okay. Kind of lost cause. All right, so DJ takes game one in about 22 minutes. All right. He's picking his bounties here. Yep. I guess, what is he doing? Oh, he wants the second dead or alive. That's a four. Okay. It is a thirty two card deck, as it should be, with grief. Oh, the Starting hand up top here, he just has three mods, a headstrong and a co-pilot. On the other hand, we've got he mulligan one and has reasonable start. We got the ramp from Dead or Alive. He's got Central Office and Imperial Rule Probe and Unique Perspectives. Let's see what he chooses. I mean, if I'm him, wow, he's going for the health. Okay. All right. I mean, there's a sense, there's a sensibleness to that, but Welcome our chat here while we're momentarily. We get eight hides, eight hides, eight hides. Okay, another TV viewer. Ella Beacon, Commander Root, Drap Snap, Echo Three, Kata, Paula, Arab, and Vi Mercy, Vl Mercy, something like that. Cool. Well, hope you guys are enjoying your afternoon here with some Destiny, and we've got. DJ pulling the dead or alive, the second one, the one that came from the Grief Karga extra cards. Rainmaker here already kind of probably feeling a bit of the burn. I mean, he's kind of, I imagine he's sort of think, thinking, you know, I need to find a way to probably generate enough so I can get these, you know, dorsal turrets and automated turret out on the x on the millennium falcon here he's gonna feel good about um putting out co-pilot there though that gives him a second pilot and an extra health for him <coughs> for him <coughs> excuse me um but now that he's out of resources yeah 
Okay. So what he can kind of do here that's a little funny and weird is that because he can't get value on the dorsal immediately, he can overwrite the dorsal for a dorsal, which is free, put out the die again, and then put the other dorsal back on with Bix. Now, the alternative here, which he's probably going to go for initially, is at least to check and see if he can get other resources without, um, without doing this. The other thing he's got to think about is that he, he has to discard an extra card to, uh, to uh, re-roll. Which, by the way, um, yeah, oh, and that's revealed, not di discarded, it's just revealed. But that goes perfectly with Major Partigaz, of course. And that two discard now that Mr. Partigaz has out there is definitely a... Uh, important factor here going forward that is a annoying little bit there's our imperial rule he probes let's see if he gets it he does uh oh so now he's um now he kind of has to think about like maybe i should just re-roll here or actually i think maybe maybe he'll see this opportunity to potentially um Man, look at that. It's crazy good. If he sees the opportunity to just re... Or to, to put out and... Uh, wow, he's not even going to do it. He's going to just take the two... All right, well, he's not realizing... Okay, well, let's see if he realizes that he can overwrite the, the dorsal turret here. Because that's really the optimal move, is to overwrite the dorsal turret with something. Yep, overwrite the dorsal with dorsal. That goes away. So he saw it. And he gets it. Okay, he gets some value out of it, which is exactly... That's what he wants. So now he's going to decide, like... Partigas has to decide if he's going to go ahead and just discard the one card. It's tempting, but, you know... Mm. Yep. Two resources. Seems eminently logical here. Two, yep, two indirect this way. Now what? Okay. This card is... <sighs> yep. Coming out. This is not a May. Yep. Okay. Oh, the triple blank rollout. That's the Norman special. And he's out of cards, so he gets no value for it. Well, once again, not feeling great about that whole deal. Putting help, putting damage into Lando, maybe. Ooh. Hmm. Oh my gosh, gross. Well, early advantage is kind of, is a little definitely not as disparate as last time, but uh, I think we're slightly slightly favoring DJ here. Uh, for those just showing up, this is game two, and DJ did take game one.
And this is the finals round of the Resurgence Championship. The semis were won by Rainmaker and DJ. Rainmaker beat Echo 3. DJ beat Stubby. And yeah. Okay, so he's going after Partigaz again, it looks like. At least partially. Here's a probe yet again. Hits one. Hits yet another resource on the ISB agent. Pretty good for him. Okay. Yep. Oh, DJ. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. The Intel breach again. All right. Yeah. Hits the... In that case, feels not so bad. He wants, he wants that them to be out there anyway. <laughs> you know, you got a fully loaded up Falcon ready to rock and roll. That is pretty sick. Ooh, man. Okay, so now he's cooking with some gas here. So he can put eight damage out in two actions. Part of gas is going to do a thing. Turn something to a one. Yeah, so he can... Okay, so he can turn like that two. Eh. But he's also got some options, you know, even once he's, he's going to re-roll this anyway. Turn that to the one resource, sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean that seems okay. You also but you also kind of feel like you'd be pretty happy to just flat out uh like <laughs> um re roll at this point with either one of those cards in his hand. He doesn't have to do both of them. I don't think you should do it yet. Okay. I mean, there's a logic, I suppose, but... Oh, man. And here it comes. Takes the indirect. Does the direct. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. 
Lando, we barely knew ya. Yep. Rallying cry to remove. Sure. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. No, you're okay. Decide two, dude. Yeah, you do. Okay, so he says. I'm going to do that, although this means he doesn't get a reroll out of this, but that's, he may not feel that bad about it. Okay. Discard to. Yep. 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 Yeah, more redeploys, more stuff. Oh, wow, double blankage. Okay, but he's got to discard a reroll. He's got to discard a second card. Yep. Yep. Gets three more damage out of it. And it's notable that co-pilot gives him and other pilots. So he's got a nine health rebel pilot, 12 health Lando here. But once co-pilot goes down, obviously rebel pilot will lose that health, extra health as well. He's got the partisan X-wing in his hand. Rainmaker does. Okay, but he's gonna go with the lavish cape. Get a. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Yep. 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 Okay. <laughs> Look, all this stuff's kind of in the wrong spot. Rolls a, so the one focus there. Partisan X-Men coming out. That's good for him, at least. He can get some additional mods on that. He's going to play that D Intel Breach here. Discards the Arc Cannon. Which, that makes no difference anymore. It doesn't get an extra boost out of that. The Crucial Intel, though, being ticked up so much, that's going to potentially be a factor. Okay. Yeah, the automated turret now does another thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. The rallying cry does a thing. If he just waits a little bit, those alternative methods are going to do some work. Yep. Okay. Takes does three indirect. Hmm. 
I mean, he's got to roll in Lando and try to get some value out of him next, right? Lando, pilot. No, he doesn't? Okay. Wait, is he saying no? Yeah. Yep. I mean, turns. Turns that. Okay. Yep. Puts that out. Sure. Without fail. And now his Lando is basically dead. Like he, he's got, you know, three health, but there's he's showing lethal. So he's got to strike a deal. Is he going to strike a deal here? Is that what you're going to do? Really? I, yeah, you got to strike a deal, man. Like you, you're dead on to, on the board. What are you thinking? Does he not want to give him? A, he doesn't want to give him a resource. Maybe that's what he's. Maybe that's his deal with the the dead or alive. He doesn't want to give him a resource. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe he just doesn't want to give him resources. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that could be it. Look at that. What a roll. Oh, wow. So he's got, now he's got six indirect and seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and he's got tricks, but, and twos, but like not much to do with it. He's not going to be able to, to get value out of part of guys now. But, all this stuff is redeploy, so it may actually be right to just flat out uh, go after Greedo here. So he's going to trick and show a two. Okay. And he, yep, so we'll do the six indirect. You know. One, two, is he going to go ahead and kill? Nope. That's two. Okay, so he's basically baiting. Okay. So if he could put, if he puts out, if he overwrites the automated turret with an automated turret, which would be fun, which he can do, like it automate, yeah, overriding the automated turret with the automated turret, then doing the damage on Greedo means that Greedo's dead. So that's what he needs to do. He, he saw it. Good man, he figured it out. He figured it out. So now he kind of has to like claim here and like, that's actually kind of funny on some level. Like he, he's going to, he's <laughs> so, yep. So like DJ's really, his option is basically to claim um, because that's the only way he's going to get, he's going to get value here. Um, and then he's got to just hope, hope, hope that uh, the rebel pilot doesn't roll in and deal extra damage. Okay. 
Okay, so he figured that out too. No, don't do it yet. What are you doing? Okay, he did that. You have a... Whoa, 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 you have a rebel pilot. Do it, uh, do it. You gotta, man, you gotta try to get rid... Like, you can't enable that. Now you re-roll. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. I, I think he sh I think he made a mistake there. Like, I think he needed to go for the kill. Like, he's got a... <laughs> I mean, he's gonna get so much extra value out of this by because he is, is didn't, like, even try to get out. Well, he did try, but look at this. Greedo is gonna go completely nuts here. I mean, he's still going to take damage from the automated turret, but he's going to get two damage out of it. Oh, geez. So he's going to... Oh, he's going to... Oh, my gosh. Okay, so he's going to unique perspectives first. Heal Partigaz. Damage Bix. Activate Greedo. He's still going to die, which is going to... Okay. Yeah, but he's still going to die. Yeah, but those... Yeah, but he... Yeah, don't forget, Greedo gets his extra day in court. Do they know what... You guys know what you're doing? Okay, so... Yeah. All right. You know what you're doing. These go away. Let's see if he even... I can't tell him, but he's got to remember that he's going to... Okay, so he did that. Then Greedo gets his extra roll in. Greedo should get his. Ah, okay. So w they just shortcut it. They were talking it over and we didn't see, but yeah. So what happens is that, uh, yeah, so he activates, rolls his die into the pool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> He's got a headstrong. Well, he can't even headstrong now. Yep. So he's, yeah, he's giving it. It's, uh, that is GG. DJ takes it in two. DJ on fire. He wants to see what he gets out of this, though. Which I understand.
Oh, maybe not. Okay. So, okay, never mind. He actually did have an out there. The reroll from, yeah. He had an out. What do you know? Okay. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Did not realize what that was. <laughs> yep, so he takes down Yeah, this actually this actually did kind of bust him up a bit. But Yeah, how about that? So here's the thing is it, it all is going to come down then to, you know, what happens here. So he's going to let the uncompromising fall off. He's going to get the other upgrades on grief. And then he's going to roll in, deal two damage with, uh, yeah, with the, uh, West stars. And he's got a 50, 50 essentially. What? Why? Oh, okay. I mean, that that actually, so that. Like, he could have really just been like, okay. Mm. All right, that's it. Insane. What is this madness? Yeah, this round was like crazy, completely crazy, insane. My X S is my yeah. bottom. Well, yeah, so Rainmaker's starting hands in both games were pretty bad. Yeah, they were. I could not have asked for worse hands um, yeah. both times. I had like I was really lucky. Like, oh, you, you, else. yeah, you had just man, yeah. freaking fire like, rolls. Oh, oh, like the rolls and the, and the ramp. Like I, I found uh, like two black market connections. One game and one, then dead or alive round one. The other game. Yep. And that's. It. That's just insane. Like, yep. When you have that much money, then like, yep, you can do everything you want. Yeah, yeah, and the damage just builds up. Gets me. Yeah, I'm a really cool deck. I mean, like, yeah, yeah it was it, just, um, I was just lucky with the ramp. There's not much else. That we do. Like, I mean, I, yeah, then the cards, and they were still both very close games. Like, I mean, especially this one. Like, yeah, this one more than the last one. The last one was not. Well, I kind of well, made it up at the end. Yeah. Yeah. You, um, I, it was funny because I, I like was, <laughs> I called a couple of plays and I was like, I wonder if he, is he going to see that he needs to overwrite the automated turret? <laughs> like, yeah. Yep. Oh, he saw it. He saw it. There it is. But because if I pay the money, I'll be in action yeah. behind. I wouldn't be able to do it. But yep. then he just claimed, which was smart. Yep, that was the smart um, move. But the other thing that was also, I didn't even, I actually did not see that you had, like, I thought you were just sunk after he rolled in uh, part of gas, and I didn't realize that you were yeah, just gonna, it's <laughs> Yeah, the way, the, like, yeah, your, your out was the re-rolls off of the, the heavy cannon. The turret, which, yeah, yeah and I never use them on, on defense. I always use I know, them for right? offense. But <laughs> yeah. those things are busted. Yeah, they are so good. They are so good. It's, it's, the, that card is single-handedly making uh mods like cool again even more yeah, even more than concussion missiles right <laughs> yeah right i don't even run that because i yeah. was like i probably would have been good in this matchup but oh it's great um, against yeah. the three wide that's for sure but but yeah, it's insane the three wide jeez <laughs> uh yeah, yeah well, those, those automated turrets though they can do some work as well just like not bad yeah if you get them out early and if it's a low health deck, they're they're so good. But yeah. against this, 
it's like one more damage. It doesn't really do much. Yeah. Yeah, they're amazing. Like, I mean, it's one damage, one ch and then the override is, is just genius. The fact that you can cycle them every yeah. round. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. But hey, good game. Way to, good games. Way to take it down. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, DJ, DJ on fire. See you guys. I'm doing it to it. Yeah. All right. Well, fellas, good work. We'll see y'all later. Thank you. Good night. Uh, yeah, it's nice for you as well, I guess. Good, good night to you both. Thanks for right. yep. Bye bye. And that is our stream, fellas. Congrats to all of our play contestants today, and hope you enjoyed it.